you own a business or you're thinking of owning a business and you knew the gold rush is going to happen in the next 10 years, you knew without an absolute doubt in your mind that the highest values paid for quality businesses are going to materialize over the next 10 years, wouldn't you think to yourself, how do I best position my business and my earnings in order to maximize the overall return of my time and risk investment. And we're going to break this down. We're going to start doing uh, merger Mondays where we can talk about the kind of deals that are happening and why they're happening. So I'm so excited to bring this to you, my audience, and to business owners in order to help them best position themselves for the highest value for their time, energy, effort, and risk associated with building their business. Now, you know I sold my business for 77 times EBITDA. Well, how did I get that value? See, it started with understanding what the buyers in my particular industry were going to be interested in buying. What was important to them? What were the things they would need in order for them to grow and for them to scale? Now, this is especially near and dear to me because it was exactly three years ago yesterday, that GN wired me $100 million as the down payment to their $150 million purchase of my business three years ago. So now it's been three years. It's kind of hard to believe still when I think back because I'm still working with them and, and, and our whole management team is still integrating on a global basis with them, which is remarkable because Generally speaking, when somebody buys a business, the whole executive team doesn't stick around for three years. So that says something about them and it says something about us. But this is the point of this. When you understand what your buyers are buying and what's important to them before you're talking to them, you can best position and structure your organization for the highest value possible. What I have found, including this last weekend, where I had a bunch of business owners, they or you don't quite understand what those value propositions are. See, most people build their business until they decide to sell it, and then they go out and get a broker who's paid on just selling their business. So their incentives aren't in maximizing your value. Their incentives are in getting a transaction done as fast as possible so they can get their commissions. So the whole system is set up just like with the funds where they get a charge of management fee and they get a percentage of the upside. But the only way they can realize, actualize that upside is to sell your business. Well, think about it. When you access other people's money, they have a window of time that they want to maximize their return. And what a lot of business owners don't understand is when you take private equity money, they want an internal rate of return between 18 and 22 times. So even if they only buy a minority of your business, you can assume they want the cash that they invested to be worth double that minimally within four or five years. That puts a lot of pressure on your system. So you can feel good about taking their money, but then you're going to feel horrible three, four, five years later if you haven't grown your business the way you're supposed to and you're giving your business away to a platform company or a tuck-in company or a bolt-on company because you miscalculated what you're going to do with that money. So the whole point here is for me and for Grant to bring those business owners a level of awareness, a level of consciousness, a level of of understanding in advance of thinking before they're ever thinking and doing anything to help them structure and build their business to maximizing the overall value for the type of business that they want to build. And then along the way of building it, to have a vehicle where they can maximize their investments from the dollars that they're earning in order to compound their money that they are earning against the money that they're gonna be able to transact with the value of their business. So I am so excited. This gold rush is coming, man. And if you're not prepared as a business owner for the biggest gold rush ever to hit, then get prepared. 